Hey guys, I was having dog training. Uh, we just finished the walk for the dogs. Okay. Uh, but today I want to talk about an extremely controversial subject. Yeah. It's one that it, there's a very the big divide in the dog world about it. And it's about foreign dogs, Romanian dogs, Indian dogs, Cyprian dogs, Spanish dogs, basically street dogs from abroad. Okay. So. There's a lot of people on the fence about this, okay, so I want to give my honest opinion on the subject, truthfully, it may offend some people, but it, it, it's the truth, basically. So you've got a lot of people that aren't okay with these dogs coming over here, yeah, and a lot of the people, they have issues with it, they have issues, and the, the legitimate concerns, to be fair, uh, because they think we've got enough dogs over here of our own in rescue and that, 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 much, that much is very true we do we have an absolute pandemic over here with dogs rescue centers across the UK overrun with dogs uh, so I, I can con I can see their concerns but then obviously on the flip side the reason people that are bringing these dogs over and adopting these dogs they're obviously talking about the conditions and the treatment of these animals and again this is something that i can completely see it from their side as well i mean some of the t treatment i mean i worked with a dog who come from romania who was hogtied and dragged around the streets i worked with another dog who come from india that was left for dead in the streets had a broken jaw bag of bones no skin no fur on him whatsoever and it was just a curled up held yeah cold up heap on the floor and people were just walking past him uh, so the treatment of these dogs and the conditions that they live in they're absolutely terrifying and it doesn't even bear thinking about so I can also see where the argument for having them over here stands so this is this is where I stand on the situation guys okay because I honestly don't care where you get your dog from Okay, well, I'm called to train your dogs. So I couldn't care whether it's Romanian, Cyprian, Spanish, Indian, French, German, whatever, or UK. I will train your dog. Yeah. Uh, but what we have to do is actually look at the dogs that we're bringing over here. Okay. Uh, effectively, we, we, instead of just naming countries where these dogs come from, we're just going to call them street dogs, because that's effectively what they are. Nine out of ten of them. Uh, are either living on the streets or were born on the streets before some rescue come along and save them basically uh, so we're going to call them street dogs because that's what they are uh, the thing we need to understand is you're effectively bringing a wild dog into your house so if you're adopting one of these dogs even though it's come to a rescue centre they're not very domesticated at all. I mean, they lived on the streets, they fended for themselves. They probably would have avoided humans, particularly in that in different countries because of the treatment of animals and the lack of respect they have for animals. Yeah, nine out of 10 cases I get called for, for street dogs, is always aggression towards people and or other dogs. Yeah, so you have to understand why it, it what why it's presenting itself you've got to think a dog that is no longer a domestic dog so if you look at Fred in the back of Maisie's laying down they're domestic dogs over the years we domesticated dogs and we bred them to be sort of part of a pack to be with around people and to be stable around people to take instructions from people that, 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 that that's what a domestic dog is but these dogs that are living on the streets are born on the streets they're not domestic dogs anymore guys they're not they're, they're effectively a wild dog and that's what you're bringing into your house yeah they're living on the streets you take them from the streets where they would shy away from people and hide to a house yeah and i know i know i know i do i know that obviously <laughs> it's a better life for the dog but you gotta understand that that is what you're bringing into your house effectively a wild dog now some of these dogs particularly the ones we've worked with, they go on to eventually make really good pets. They do, but it's a hell of a lot of work. For instance, Poppy, Romanian rescue dog, got loads of videos of her. She wanted to eat me when I first met her. Uh, found by another trainer because the trainer had no idea what they were dealing with when it comes to street dogs. Yeah, Again, because most people, when they're training street dogs, they're not looking at them as their street dogs. They're looking at them like they're domestic dogs, and they're not. They're not food motivated. They're not. Uh, 
they generally have very independent natures, very shy natures, they generally have a shit recall, yeah. They're not used to taking instructions from people, they would generally avoid people, yeah. So when you put them in the house and they feel trapped, they're going to lash out, yeah. When they can't do what is normal behaviour for this dog, yeah. Also, when you let them off the lead, they're not inclined to listen to you because they've spent their lives not domesticating, not following directions from people. So they, so training is very difficult. And this is where rescue centres are doing a terrible disservice to people because they are giving these dogs to novice owners, right? And these are not for novice owners. Even a lot of trainers can't even handle these dogs properly. Yeah, because again, they're looking at them like they're domestic dogs because you brought it into a rescue centre because you're taking it into foster care in a house. Yeah, so, but they do, they can go on. I mean, for instance, all the dogs we work with, they, they, they're enjoying their life, they are. And some of them are great, they're clowns. And you can see as they begin to understand and that domestic side of them starts to come back into play, they're great. But rescue centers are doing a terrible service by giving them to novice owners, right? Or trying to fix them with purely positive training. <laughs> it really is insane, yeah? Because a lot of first time dog owners, they struggle. Even if they've had the dog from a puppy, they struggle. Yeah, and you want to give them a Romanian dog or a Cyprian dog or a street dog, a dog that's lived on the streets that is shy from people. Yeah, because <coughs> that, that that's effectively excuse me, that's effectively what's going on. Yeah, so you do have to really, really bear that in mind, guys. Before taking, I know I'm not telling you not to go and get yourself. Romanian dog. I'm not trying to convince people not to adopt them because where you get your dog from is entirely up to you. Yeah, and like I said, the conditions these dogs are living in are absolutely terrible. So it, it's really up to you where you get your dog from, whether you want to get it from a breed Pacific rescue, whether you want to get it from a local rescue, whether you want to travel the country to a different rescue and get a dog, whether you want to get a street dog. Yeah, or whether you want to get a puppy, the decision is entirely yours. But the idea of this post isn't to put people off. It isn't to tell people not to bring them into the country. If you're a rescue, you need to really, really be paying attention to the homes that you are letting these dogs go to. Because a lot of the dogs that I've gone to see, that have got these street dogs, their owners, they weren't prepared for that dog. They are now because they got in a balanced dog trainer, but they was not prepared for what happens, yeah? To them, they're getting a rescue dog that's got a traumatic background, but the reality is you just adopted basically a wild, undomesticated dog to a first time dog owner. So you really, I, I know you wanna get these dogs out of rescue, I know you wanna get these in homes, and I know you want them to have a better life, but if you're a rescue, you really, really need to be careful about the people that you're giving these dogs to yeah and that's about it so I don't like I said a lot of my clients have these dogs and, and they, they do turn out to be great dogs so I'm not telling you not to do it I'm not saying I am concerned about the dogs coming in from abroad or everything I'm not I just want people to be aware of what they're effectively bringing in the country and into their house yeah, uh, so, yeah, get the dog you want guys, but please, please, please make sure that you're not just going in there because the, of the sub story. It's the same with any dog, yeah, if you go into the local rescue, I've just got a dog that had a bit of a harsh background in the UK, yeah, spend some time with that dog, see if there's a connection between you and that dog, yeah. Don't just get the dog because you've heard a sub story because that is where the dramas will begin to unfold because often we will fall for this sub, this sub story. Yeah, It becomes a story that we tell everyone and we feel sorry for the dog and everything like that. And yeah, I know, but there are experienced handlers out there for these more troublesome dogs. Yeah. So, street dogs, can they be trained? Yes, absolutely. Are they easy to train? No, not at all. They're not, they're generally very independent. They're generally not food motivated at all because they're used to just feeding off little scraps here and there. Uh, they generally would avoid people. So aggression between street dogs towards strangers is very, very common, particularly if you put them into a house. They've got very independent nature uh, and they're often very withdrawn, not very motivated by 
people in general like anything you can offer them can you train them yeah absolutely definitely definitely just looking around pardon you fred yeah but that's just my take on it yeah like i said i'll work with any dog uh if you've got one of these dogs uh we have a vast experience in them we understand street dogs very well we understand how their minds work we understand how to get them from a place where they're completely disconnected from people to a place that they actually behave a lot more like a domestic dog yeah but understand that <laughs> beneath this exterior you know, Fred beneath this exterior okay is an animal yeah Fred is a domestic dog he's used to he was bred to be a domestic dog he was bred to live with people yeah as most domestic dogs are but if Fred had to go on the streets, right, if he was born on the streets, if he lived in a different country on the street, enough, go back. Oh, kiss me. Yeah, if Fred lived on the streets, yeah, you'd find that the domestic side of the dog would start to slowly diminish and you'd see more wild traits kick in, the more animalistic side, the predatory side, the hunting side. Most domestic dogs over here wouldn't be able to survive on the streets that I mean that's that's the harsh reality they wouldn't uh, most street dogs have learned to survive on the streets so you've got can you see where I'm going with this guy it's like there's a completely different contrast in the dogs yeah very very different dog domestic dog dog that lives on the streets particularly for a long time dogs that are born on the streets they're not domestic dogs anymore they're wild dogs to a degree so you can start to re-domesticate them, but they're not for first-time dog owners. Rescue centers need to be a lot more specific about the homes that they're going to, okay? And you need to have a trainer in place if you're getting one of these dogs, because, the, like I said, nine out of 10 of them that I work with, the issues I'm dealing with is aggression towards people, yeah? So, just that, that, that's, that's my little take on the situation guys yeah like I said I'm not telling you not to get them yeah if you want to get one great go for it yeah because like I said these dogs do need homes yeah the conditions they live in are brutal uh, and they're over here yeah so if you want to give one a home but just be aware of your limitations spend some time with that dog see if you form a connection with that dog don't just get it because you've heard of this traumatic background because often this is where the problems lie We've got a Labradoodle just over here to our left. As I was coming back over here, a dog's charged at us. It's now just charged at two other dogs. I've just seen it. So while we've been here, it's gone up the road and come back down, right? And it's off lead. When it charged at us, these two were on the lead. They didn't do a thing, all right? And I said, I just told them to heal. The owner never once called their dog back, never once apologized. Now it's off its lead, it's now charged over to two other dogs, right? And there seems to be some little drama kicking off now over there. But this is what I'm talking about, that sort of mentality that, that's, that's, a, that's a Labradoodle, right? And it's charging at dogs in an insecure manner, right? And the owner sees no drama with this at all. So if this was the person that went to then go and get a street dog from a center over here, or got one coming in from abroad, right? She's in trouble. She can't even control a Labradoodle. She thinks it's acceptable. So you get one that's not a domestic dog that has wild tendencies. This is what I'm talking about, guys. We need to make sure we're getting the dog that suits us, our limitations, and our lifestyle. Yeah, We can't be getting a dog because we like the way it looks, and we can't be getting dogs because we like, because we fall for the sub story. Yes, some dogs live in harsh treatments. Yes, some dogs have had a harsh upbringing, but their life will not be much better if you bring it into a house and that dog lives in fear because you don't know how to get it past that because you're not working with a trainer or you're working with an unrealistic trainer that thinks they can fix these street dogs with nothing but a bit of cheese yeah so that's just my take on it guys so we do have a fast knowledge of experience with these dogs we work with these dogs all the time more and more and more because more and more are coming in we love working with them they're great fun yeah but they're very hard work guys so enjoy the rest of your day